Because of the shelter in place regulations, we are especially grateful for the students and teachers who still felt inspired to submit peace poems under trying circumstances. We are sad that we cannot meet together to hear these enchanting poems read aloud, but grateful to be able to share some of the poets reading their poems here. Hi, my name is Sheila, and I'm a member of Veterans for Peace and one of the organizers of the Veterans for Peace Poetry Contest. Uh, welcome. I hope you'll be as inspired by these poems as we were when we saw all of them, all 200 that were entered. First, I'd like to thank Olivia Reagan Hunter for her wonderful music. Veterans for Peace would also like to thank Deborah Hendricks from UF Samuel Proctor Oral History Program who received the poet videos that you'll see and wove them together into a poetry reading and celebration. We would like to thank all the student poets who wrote poems and were interested in expressing their ideas about peace and social justice. We had over 200 extraordinary lovely poems submitted for this, our 11th Peace Poetry event. Every year, Veterans for Peace notices a theme that runs through many of the poems. The last two years, many students focus on safety in the classroom and trauma associated with the fear of being shot at school. The past few years, including this year, there have been many environmental and climate change poems submitted. A new theme this year addressed COVID-19 and the belief that being a good citizen means observing the shelter in place regulations. We were encouraged by the maturity expressed in these poems and of course blown away by the beauty of all 200 of the poems submitted. The 2020 Peace Poetry Book is also posted on our website and you can read and download the poems there. Veterans for Peace is involved in many peace activities through the year. We will not be constructing Memorial Mile this year because of social distancing requirements, but we invite you to see photos from past years at Veterans for Peace Gainesville Facebook page and to reflect on the human costs of war. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the poems. <laughs> I'm surrounded by white water Trying to stay afloat Trying not to rock the boat But I fell out Swimming alone in deep water Swimming alone in deep water Swimming alone in deep water but I don't mind, no, I don't mind. I'm surrounded by water on all sides, going with the flow, going with the tide. I'm not trying to resist, and I'm not holding back. I let myself go, I let myself go. Swimming alone in deep water, swimming alone in deep water, swimming alone in deep water. But I don't mind, no, I don't mind. I float 
till I come to a shore I pull myself out stronger than before and I remember what caused this strength deep water oh deep water swimming alone in deep water swimming alone in deep water swimming alone in deep water but I don't mind no I don't mind <laughs> thank you Hello, my name is Simka Cruz Davis, and I come from Jordan Glen School in Summer Camp. I am nine years old, and my poem is Peace. Peace is eating, eating is fun. I like a hot dog with a delicious bun. But don't pollute, it's toxic. Soon it'll turn chaotic. Plastic is bad, it makes animals sad. It makes animals die, soon the ocean will be dry. Don't kill deer because they're the ones with fear. It's against the law to kill so raw. Be good to the earth and nice to the trees. Once in a while, they'll give you a breeze. Don't waste paper, energy, and don't use trucks with smoke. Soon the whole world will be broke. Thank you. Hello, my name is Stanley Jose Cruz Davis and I'm from Jordan Glen School, and I'm nine years old. And my poem is Peace. Peace is love, peace are doves. Peace is when I hear the rains pitter-patter on the roof. All of a sudden, peace goes away. I hear bang, I hear clang, I hear screaming. The sun is not gleaming, it's dark. I hear silence, the war has ended. Some people are offended. We have lost. They are the boss. We don't like it, but we can't fight it. Some people die, even though we try. Now there is peace. The sun rises again. People hug and kiss. There is peace. We can live in peace. Thank you. By Miko Shatama. I hear a loud bang, then I walk out the door. I step into chaos, breathe in ash from the war. Innocent people are fleeing from their homes. People are being separated because of skin tones. People's hearts are turning charcoal black from the emotion that we lack. The wine red blood is now being wasted. We're throwing up food that hasn't been tasted. We are wasting our time holding grudges against friends. When will this cruelness come to an end? I am waiting for a day this will finally stop. Social justice will be back on top. Uh, Peace by Moses Shutama. People are fleeing corruption and violence. The feared sound of bang, then silence. They take desperate measures to get away, to go to the free, sovereign U.S. of A. Then they get there and are sent back to where they started. They go back sad and brokenhearted. Either that or they are put in cages. Parents get separated from children of all ages, but we can make some changes. Let's start by not putting immigrants in cages and start giving them living wages. Also, let's not send them away because I think they should be here to stay. Hello, and my poem is called Save the Environment. You notice the bag floating in the sea. Should you yank it or let it be? You decide to leave it or play with it for a bit. But it will go back in the water and get eaten by a bird's daughter. What will happen to the gull? Will it keep eating till it is full? The bird keeps eating plastic bags. Then later, it starts to gag. It coughs and retches, and its father it fetches. Is it time to say goodbye? Is it going to die? Down it leaves on its bed. Three hours later, it is dead. Too much gas, will it pass? Airplanes are the problem. Just look at all of them. It's global warming, and all that heat that is forming. 
Do you notice that homeless penguin? Will he ever see his home again? From the burning and blazing flames in Australia to the polar bears in Antarctica gazing at the sea floor where their hearts soon will be. Now you see they need peace more than me, more than us. So we will share the fairest bit of peace. Now the day comes where we welcome the young, the old, the furry, the scary to our delightful homes where we share, we give, we forgive. We love them for who they are not who they were, not what they did, or how they did it. That's the past, this is now. That's what makes peace. Peace is the world for every young boy and girl. Why we have friends, our hearts beat, beat again. So stay calm, all the bad things are gone. Peace comes early, hate comes late. Peace is courage all the time. Even in this little rhyme, you just need to find it in your heart, like a sour patch kid. Life is sour, then it's sweet, so find someone else to greet. Like I said, peace comes early, hate comes late. Peace is what brings us together, forever and ever. Like trees and grass, our teachers and class, life learning skills for fish skills. With all these wonderful thrills, peace is the world for us. Hi, I'm Fisher Aiken, and I'm in the fifth grade at Jordan Glen School, and I'm 11 years old. My poem is called Stay Indoors. If you don't stay indoors, then COVID-19 will spread more. As it continues to spread, more people are dead. You may think being at home is boring, while, while other people in Italy are mourning. It is not a Chinese virus that you may think, when people say it, it's racist and stinks. We need to spread peace and love from six feet apart. If you're bored, then make some art. If you stay indoors, COVID-19 will be no more. Thank you. Hello, my name is Asher Case, and today I will be reading you my poem, I Still Believe. Peace is a gift that has not yet been given. Peace is a car that has not yet been driven. Peace is what should end every war. Peace is what we're all looking for. Although we haven't succeeded just yet, I still believe. Peace is a contract that has not yet been signed. Peace is a word that has not yet been defined. Peace is what runs through you and a friend. Peace is what causes all the suffering to end. Although peace has taken its time, I still believe. Peace by Sun Tzu Bak. Peace is like broken house. When you fix some part of the house, some parts break. It loops. If breaking continues, it will be end of the house. Also end of the world. Peace is strange. People like peace. They hate peace too. Because they can live better when they win the fight. If this continues, it will be end of the house. Also, end of the world. My name is Allison Waddell, and I am in sixth grade from Fort Clark Middle School. The title of my poem is Why Can't We Be Together? A bird circles the body of her dead mate. Her cry sounds so forlorn. Why? Why can't we be together? A polar bear mother stands over her dead cub's body. The mother bellows to the sky. Why? Why can't we be together? A dog in the shelter is separated from her sister. She whines sadly. Why? Why can't we be together? We are separated. By fences, barriers, we are separated. Why be separated when we are so much better together? Separate countries, territories, continents, we are separated. Whether we realize it or not, we are separated. But why can't we be together? That is the question the bird asks, the bear asks, the, do the dog asks. That, the question that I ask, why can't we be together? That is the question. Peace is the answer. Peace.
Hi, I'm Geechee Pragosh, and I'm a seventh grader from Jordan Glenn School. We have ruined this place. We have done so much wrong. We are corrupt, yet Mother Earth stays strong. We've treated this place like it is our own, when thousands of species call this planet their home. Humans have littered the surface with an abundance of pollution, and nobody is able to figure out a solution. As we split apart families, as we take away lives, we ruin the place Mother Earth gave us to thrive. We blindly lead her into death and decay. Powerless, she can do nothing to escape her fate. She is crying out for anyone to see. She is crying out for all that she needs. She is helpless. We have been careless. Thank you. I'm Rihanna, and I'm here to cite my poem, Clean Water. Peace is an ocean in a world thirsty for drinkable water. It's so close, yet untouched, unfiltered, with crashing waves stronger than outreached hands or peaceful protests. We're drowning in violence without enough like this. Dying coral reefs and impoverished communities, another child on the news that never had the opportunity to drink because they didn't filter out the poverty or the gun violence laid to rest with the salty aftertaste of ignorance. And his memory and those of every fallen heart is met with blind eyes, too scared to open them to see the other side, to realize that conversations can reduce pollution in our communities, open ears and open minds, open up so many opportunities to drink. For peace and for hope, evaporation of hate and ignorance, if we listen and truly hear one another, we all can make a difference and one day find a world where we all can drink. This is a song I wrote a while ago. Um, it's called Safely Away. They can see it in your eyes. You're afraid of what's to come cause you don't want to hurt them twice but you don't want to be alone and all your demons are inside and all that you have ever known is to keep them here and lock them in and never let them show so you hide your scars you hide your pain you don't want to feel the shame you hide your stories and your stain safely away but the words of those you love cut you straight down to the bone and how can you stop running when it's all you've ever known and your heart is in a coffin made of cold and hollow stone and you're alone you're scars you hide your pain you don't want to feel the shame you hide your stories and your stains safely away but you can't hide forever you can't always run away but you'll try to hide forever until someone makes you stay and you show your scars release your pain don't have to lie to make me stay you tell your story show your stains you don't have to keep yourself locked in and safely away safely away safely away Hall and I will be presenting my poem, What World? What world do we live in, where the villain slays themselves, where justice is but a word we use to describe ourselves? One in which we fear someone's around the corner, so scared of death we hold guns on our shoulder. What world is this, where we must pray for our children, 
for school is a battle and they might become the villain. What world do we live in where love has labels, where people are punished for loving who makes them stable? What world so beautiful to give us love, to give us hope? What world so cruel to watch us burn for them to cope? Pawn, all, plus demos, people, equals pondemos. Just as Plato said, the soul, helpless. That's how it feels to all, who are trained to help, but destined to fall against this biological wonder. It's smart, it lives, it mutates, it gives, our world subject to its plunder. But the heroes, outnumbered they be, low in supplies and spirits, but with a vision to see, they come together on the front lines, and for good, use their hands, their hearts, their minds. Stay home for them as they stay there for us. We help as one through our community. And when our world is truly whole, it is then we have peace and immunity. Hi, my name is Jacob Sandor McNamara, and today I'm going to be reading my poem, Refugee from Damascus. Refugee from Damascus. The heat of the sun warms the tattered plaid that hangs from the back of that young lad who warbles to passers-by like a desperate bird, clutching the shoe polish and the brush that earns him his keep, competing amid a cacophony of cries this side of the corniche. His brother was conscripted by insurgents to fight, lured by promises of prosperity and justice. The screams of his sisters pierced the smoke in the street, and rubble rained down upon the masked men who stuffed him into the hold of a diesel truck en route to Beirut, fleeing the death and destruction in Damascus. His father told him not to return without bread, so he lies on his side in an alley behind a restaurant in Hamra. His ears bleed onto the concrete. He watches as a trickle scales the slope of his sewage grate, staining bronze a stray cigarette butt in its wake. The sun hangs in the sky like fruit, elusive as sunset gives way to the hungry, bitter night. Hi, my name is Kennedy Wade, and I'll be presenting my poem, Home of the Free. America, home of the free, where it's free to get shot walking down the street, where it's free to get profiled because you're wearing a hijab, where little black girls go missing without any media coverage at all, where the woman makes 61 cents to every male dollar, where the entitled take all and leave nothing for the rest. Oh, what a place to be. America, home of the free. What if wars were fought with paint? Maybe something beautiful could come from it. Instead of only red and black, blues, greens, and yellows would cover the land. More would be made than would be destroyed. What if wars were fought with paint? More talent would be found than talent would be forgotten. Wounds could be washed and no lives would be lost if only wars were fought with pain and the world was without conflict. Hi, I'm Brenda Rathina Sabapati, a senior at Eastside High School. My poem is titled, Look Me in the Eye, Tell Me Everything's All Right. There is a fine line between innocence and ignorance. When an abundance of time passes, slipping to the bottom of the hourglass, one becomes the other. This war-torn, weary world is hopeless. Tragedy at every turn, and we tell ourselves there is nothing we can do. We turn away, blind, like Lady Liberty, proud face pointed up at the sun. Like Lady Justice, making judgments without looking anyone in the eyes. Not knowing is no excuse to not face people's pain. Look them in the eye and let love win.
Compassion is a choice of consequence. Like a dove leaping from her perch, white wings splayed proudly against a clear blue sky. Just trust in your ability to try. Love is not blind. Love is when the burden of knowledge has settled harsh and heavy on your shoulders, but there is still sunshine in your smile. Your radiance is enough. For if there is one thing that humanity excels at, it is finding a light in the darkness and never letting go. was once a happy place, the Amazon rainforest teeming with life, plants and animals going along at their own pace, and wildlife coexisting without any strife. But then came the Industrial Revolution, and that was when nature took a blow. Pollution spread everywhere without a solution as humans went on with their show. The Amazon rainforest, once filled with trees, has now been destroyed out of adversity, with less oxygen produced to fulfill or please habitat destruction, habitat fragmentation, and loss of biodiversity. Our grasslands, for farmlands we have chosen, have by our farming equipment to the ground shaven. No grass to hold the soil creates erosion, nitrates and phosphates creating cultural eutrophication. Pesticides, though with food is our assistant, we should look at them with disdain. DDT, very widely used, is very persistent. Bioaccumulates and biomagnifies in the food chain. The coral reefs, once from humans never reached, are now dying in an ice blink. The coral becomes nothing but bleached as the ocean becomes the ultimate carbon sink. Coil, coal, oil, and natural gas, things we take for granted. The effects thereof we should stand in mourning. Pollutants and greenhouse gases burning them has chanted as carbon dioxide contributes to global warming. With our machines, we have beaten down this poor earth. But us humans right now have a chance to learn. Either we turn around and give this abused planet a new rebirth, or we keep going to the point of no return. War of Attrition What is love? It's the flutter in the chest when someone walks in the room. It's the pain felt when that person leaves, the strength ebbing away with each step. The smile that runs across lips when two people talk the graze of two arms as they walk. It's the have a great day as the school bus rolls away and the hugs and chatter shared at the end of the day. It's the rings on a pair of left hands, the promises for better or for worse. What is war? It's the death of the flutter that began at the barrel of the gun. It's the pain of the bullets in his chest and their home. The smile that runs away when men in uniforms show up at the door. The graze of strange hands on black clad shoulders in the face of a black backdrop future with a purple ribbon silhouette. It's the uncertain I'll see you later as the camo packs right away, and the silence of the dinner table at the end of the day. She wonders if the other half to their pair of left hand rings is somewhere lying in the dust, the promise for worse coming to life as the blood mingles with the gold ring rust. I'm a longtime member of Gainesville Veterans for Peace. Um, it's my great privilege to be able to announce the 2020 Gainesville Veterans for Peace Peace Scholarship Program recipients. Um, this year we received really outstanding uh, contributions. A lot of uh, really outstanding students uh, submitted proposals um, or applications for the Peace Scholarship. Gainesville Veterans for Peace started the Peace Scholarship six years ago. This is our sixth annual Peace Scholarship um, uh, competition. We designed it in tandem with the Peace uh, Poetry Contest. We're trying to promote peaceful pathways, uh, students who are uh, embarking on peaceful careers and careers dedicated to nonviolence and social justice. So it's my great privilege to read to you the names of the three recipients of this year's Veterans, Veterans for Peace Scholarship winners. And this scholarship comes with a $1,000 um, cash prize or a check, uh, I should say. Our first recipient is Alara Ganey. 
Allegheny is a dual enrollment student at Santa Fe College and Gainesville High School's Academy of Health Professions program. She's the president of the Gainesville High School Spanish Honors Society. She's used her position in leadership to speak out publicly against violence in schools, including giving testimony about bullying at the Florida Department of Education. Alara was an environmental ambassador at the Cultural Arts Coalition in Gainesville in the summer of 2018. Ms. Ganey plans to earn her Associates of Science degree in nursing at Santa Fe College and to eventually become a doctor. Our second recipient of the 2020 Veterans for Peace Scholarship is Brianna Michelle. Brianna is a dual enrollment student at Eastside High School and Santa Fe College. She's majoring in biology with a minor in agriculture. She plans to use her degree to, quote, continue my research about the various disparities affecting our world, including food, medical, nutrition, health, and poverty. Brianna has volunteered at St. Francis and Grace Marketplace since 2015. She received a gold award from the Girl Scouts for developing a tutoring program for youth in homeless shelters. In addition, Brianna received a National Borlaug Scholarship in 2019 for bringing awareness to social disparities in Haiti. Our third recipient of the Veterans for Peace Scholarship Prize is Lily Orton. Lily is a senior at Buholtz High School. While holding down a part-time job, Lily has been active in student government as well as Organization Days for Girls, which supplies menstrual hygiene kits for girls. During her sophomore year, she went on a medical mission trip to Guatemala. She also visits with senior citizens and nursing homes. She will be attending the University of South Florida to earn her degree in marine biology. Her goal is to become a marine biologist who works on the conservation and rehabilitation of Florida's ecosystems and the animals that live in them. So please join me in congratulating the 2020 recipients of the Gainesville Veterans for Peace Scholarship uh, program award. And in closing, I want to encourage all those watching, students, parents, and teachers, to spread the word about Gainesville Veterans for Peace, our Peace Scholarship program. Uh, we will be offering the Peace Scholarship next year. We need your support. And also, please let students know, uh, students on any level, uh, high school students, college students, students planning to attend a vocational program, um, you are all eligible to enroll, uh, to participate, or to apply for the Gainesville Veterans for Peace Scholarship. Thank you so much.